Whether you're addicted to pornography or find yourself watching it every now and then, this video is for you. I'm going to share with you an effective four-step strategy that's going to help you kick the habit. Stay tuned till the end for a free bonus resource. To be free from pornography is what we're looking for, so we're going to let this word guide us as we move forward. <sighs> you're tempted. Freeze. Have the courage to stop for a second. Maybe you find yourself instantaneously giving in when you are tempted. It's become a habit. It's become a routine. And routines and habits are really hard to break. But if we actually want to win this battle, we need to enter the battle. Too often, a lot of us are putting up our white flag the second that we are tempted. But by freezing, we're giving ourselves time to enter the battle. The key here is you need to pre-decide what you're going to do. You need to pre-decide that you are going to freeze, that you are going to stop when you are tempted to give yourself some time to think. Now, obviously that takes courage and that takes guts and maybe you don't feel like you have that in you. I want to encourage you with this verse. His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us to his own glory and excellence. We don't have the power on our own to overcome this, but God's power and presence is with us to overcome temptation. Remember, remember that porn is alive. Remember that porn doesn't satisfy. Remember how you felt after you lied last watch pornography. Remember God and his goodness and his holiness and remember the gospel and him dying to save you from your sin, from the power of sin in your life. If you're married or you're in a relationship, think of your spouse and how much they mean to you. Escape. Escape where you are. Escape sexual immorality. Flee all these temptations. Freezing and remembering are not enough because if we stay exactly where we are, we're just going to be tempted again and we're going to go through the exact same cycle. Let's say you're scrolling social media and something triggers you. You want to look at pornography. Well, what I want you to do is leave the room or go to another part of the room if you can't leave the room and leave your devices behind. Turn it off right away. You got to escape these things. You got to change your environment. A lot of people actually won't take this advice because it takes too much work. They don't want to get out of bed. They don't want to leave their room. They don't want to go outside. You got to do it. You got to change your environment and you got to cut off access to the thing that's tempting you. 1 Corinthians 6 18 says, flee sexual immorality. Every sin that a man does is outside the body, but he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Enter scripture reading, enter prayer, enter a conversation with a friend, enter exercise, shift your attention off of the temptation onto something else. Ray Comfort has this great illustration where he tells somebody to not think of a pink elephant. What do you think they're doing? They're thinking of a pink elephant. You might be telling yourself, oh, don't think about pornography. Don't think about how much you want to watch pornography. That's not going to help you. You got to shift your attention onto something else. I really want to emphasize the importance of prayer throughout this. The Bible says to pray without ceasing. And so it's important that regardless of what stage you're at, you're praying to God, you're asking him for strength to overcome this temptation. Two final pieces of advice. Anytime you're trying to break an old habit, the first movement to break free is going to be the toughest, but it's the most necessary. The second thing that you need to know is that as you gain victory in this area, you're going to feel confident and sometimes overconfident. That is exactly when temptation can strike the hardest. Be watchful about the content that you're consuming. Triggers can be everywhere and overconfidence can lead us to get closer to the line than what is wise. I truly believe that you can find freedom from pornography in your life, regardless of where you are on the journey. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Share a piece of encouragement or a tip that's been helpful for you. I want to thank my community on Patreon. Thank you for enabling me to make this kind of content and helping people follow Jesus daily. If you want to help support my ministry, head to the link in my bio and sign up for Patreon today. If you want to watch more about how to break free from pornography, check out this video.